Since so few of you watched my video on why I love short fiction, I thought I would continue on and talk more about short fiction, specifically why you should write it. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlie and today I want to talk about why you should write short fiction. In my last video I talked about why I like short fiction and I don't know how many of you actually saw it. And yeah, I'm casting a little bit of shade there, but I really want to talk about this because here on AuthorTube, I think we have adopted a rather toxic view that we all have to be working on a novel. Novels are great. Novels are wonderful, but they're not the end all and be all. And especially if you're getting started as a writer, I don't think you should necessarily be focused on a novel. Flash fiction, prose poetry, and short stories are going to be a lot better for you to write. And let me tell you why. They are going to help you hone certain skills. Now, they're not going to help you learn how to write a novel. Writing short fiction and writing long fiction are very different skill sets. But describing something so that it's visceral, making sure an audience is brought into a setting, characterization, all of these things are universal. These are skills that are going to help you whether you're writing short fiction or long fiction. So, Practice them in short fiction. One, you get the rush of finishing something, and who doesn't need to feel like you've actually accomplished something? Huh? Especially now in 2020, we need to feel like we're getting stuff done because the world is a hot mess. Am I wrong? The other big benefit is that you can pick one particular thing that you're bad at, and that's the focus of your story. This is actually something that will make for really powerful stories if you do it properly. The style of the vignette is not very popular anymore, and I think it's not very popular because it doesn't fit well in a magazine. You know what it does fit well on? Hey, are you doing a world building website like World Anvil? Are you just putting out short stories on your blog? This is a very good technique and style of writing that you might want to adopt. A vignette is different from a slice of life in that it doesn't necessarily have life in it. A vignette could be as simple as the story of a valley, where you start up at the top and move down into the base and just describe what's there in beautiful, rich, evocative detail so that you feel like you're there. It could also be going into a ruin and simply giving a sense of the history and the time and the weight of eternity coming down on this one place, or how it has been lost and become a mystery to everyone around it. Vignettes are a beautiful thing to write because you focus literally on one thing. It's generally a descriptive thing. So if you are working on a bigger story, vignettes can be used within a novel as a way of introducing a new location. They can be used as a break between chapters, an interlude if you will, that sets up more of the broader world. I actually really like reading these and have been tempted to put them in my own books. I've, I've read so many books that every so many chapters they have an interlude chapter that does not include our main characters, does not include our main cast, and actually doesn't have an impact on the main story. It's just a glimpse at the broader world out there. And I love them because they make the world feel more alive. In fact, if you are somebody who's been watching The Mandalorian, Cobb Vanth originated from an interlude in the Aftermath books. Yeah, that entire sequence from The Mandalorian started as an interlude in the Aftermath books. So you never know, you might be able to mine them for future story ideas. So vignettes are very powerful for that purpose. Flash fiction generally surrounds one emotion, one feeling, one experience, very quickly and viscerally delivered to the reader. I highly recommend writing flash fiction, especially if you want to get better at emotional writing, if you want to get better at making characters feel alive, if you want to get better at making your audience feel what the characters are feeling, flash fiction is perfect for that. Short stories are a great way to learn how to write situations, because that's what a short story is. It's a situation as it gets resolved, in whatever way it gets resolved. These are fundamental skills that are necessary for us as writers to be able to bring people into our worlds and into our stories and they can get lost in the larger opus of a novel where it's harder to see what the problems are. If you allow yourself to just think in these terms, don't think about having finished publishable stories, especially not early on, 
Just think about, I want to get better at writing this emotion or that emotion or this kind of scene and just write it as a complete story. One, you'll learn a lot about story structure from doing this. And two, you'll get a lot better at that particular thing that you're practicing. So that's why you should write short fiction. In the next couple episodes, I'm going to talk about different ways of writing short fiction and different methodologies that you might use. But since people were so excited about my excitement and love for short fiction, I thought I should uh, tell you why you should be excited about it too, at least from my point of view and perspective. All right. Thank you for listening. I hope you had fun. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. I stream twice a week on YouTube and more sometimes on Twitch. You can find links to that in the description below. Let's end this the way that we end everything here because the world is still a crazy burning mess. Black lives matter. Black trans lives matter. Trans identities are magic. And until next time, may you have the courage to ride your dreams into reality. And don't forget to have the fun. Bye.